Welcome back. The National Museum of Nuclear Science and History is thrilled to announce the return of Discover Steam Day. Well, Discover Steam Day is going to be offering a unique opportunity for families to immerse themselves in the world of steam. That's with some activities directed by local engineers, physicists, and technicians. Telling us more about Discover Steam Day, we're joined by the Director of Communications for the Museum of Nuclear Science and History, Ms. Bernadette Robin. Bernadette, it's always great to have you with us. Great to see you. Yeah, absolutely. Because, and we say this because, um, you know, there's something that ex exciting that you bring for families to enjoy, not just, you know, for particular groups, it's for everybody. So let's kind of talk about Discover Steam Day. It's such a great opportunity for families, adults, to try their hand at different activities. And they're all designed for you to learn. So you might be learning the principles of physics or some engineering technique, but they're really fun. We have Tesla coils, which are really cool oh. to show electricity, and they do it to music, so it's pretty cool. Hey, okay. So a good way to burn some calories and uh, also show <laughs> how that kind of energy transfers right there into everything. Uh, every time we see the, the, um, the, the images from these uh, past events, everybody's just so enthralled and engrossed in the work there, and you know, see, see some smiles on the little ones, and, and of course, smiles on the adults that are, are, are kind of helping them out. So kind of walk us through it. What does the day look like for guests? So it's included with paid admission, and once they get there, there's so many different tables of engineers and physicists, and each table has an activity that they could learn. It could be about geology. Last year, one of our most popular tables um, had rocks from around the state. Hmm. Um, and people were looking at them and, and trying to identify what minerals and things like that. But there's activities for everyone. Outside, we have stomp rockets, which are my favorite thing to do. They make a rocket and they stomp on it and then see how high it goes. And they're able to tell by how quick it goes up, how many feet it traveled. Oh, wow. So there's a lot for families to enjoy. So it's not just little kids. It's kids of every age and adults. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it brings out the kid in you for sure. I think yeah. so. I had a great time last year. It was my first time. And I went around to every table and enjoyed myself tremendously. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and this is, again, on top of the, the camps and the other activities that are put on by the museum for, for families and for the little ones. But uh, let's kind of talk about, uh, you said there's a lot involved and it's all in the cost. What's, what's the cost for the event? So um, if, depending on whether they're New Mexico residents or not, okay. um, museum admissions anywhere from $13 up to $17. Um, and our vets and active duty military are slightly less than that. Yeah. But um, so it's included in the cost. There's yeah. no extra cost for the day. Um, unless they want something from one of the food trucks that are usually mm -hmm. there. So it's a great family event, but it's really trying to encourage people to learn differently, hands-on. Yeah. We always say the museum is a center of informal learning, and this is really a way to get people engaged in science and art um, and math in a different way. And you can also save a little bit more becoming a member. Right? Yeah, this event um, doesn't have a members only rate, but okay. when you are a member, there are selected events that have member rates, and you can go to the museum year round for free. Yeah, that website is? Nuclearmuseum.org. Awesome. Bernadette, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yep.